Hey Golden Bears, it's November and with midterms finally winding down, it's about time you update yourselves on what's been going on outside the classroom. Here are the stories you need to know. A UC tuition hike, a brain decoder that reads minds, a controversial speaker for this December's graduation, and Berkeley's best late night munchies. I'm John Kanya and the Berkeley Beat starts now. First up, UC President Jen Napolitano has just announced her recommendation for a yearly tuition increase, one that could span the course of five years. Because the idea, of course, is that higher education should be an aspiration available to any California uh, student. Despite opposition from Governor Brown, Napolitano has released recommendations that could raise California in-state tuition to $12,804 by next year, with tuition projected to rise to more than $15,000 by 2019. This recommendation has already encountered opposition from students, much like Napolitano's campus visit last February. Up next, news correspondent Marion Hayderali heads to a lab right here on campus where researchers are developing technology that could allow others to hear your inner thoughts. Researchers at the Knight Lab are in the preliminary stages of creating a device that is meant to help the disabled or mute communicate. Stephanie Martin is a leading researcher on the project. Many people suffer from complete paralysis or aphasia and they cannot communicate despite being fully aware. So building a device that can predict whether what is going on inside their mind would help them to communicate in a more natural, speech-like way. Although the device is meant to aid those who can't fully communicate, it is likely that the technology will expand as part of everybody's daily life. Berkeley has been making waves nationally for a movement protesting the selection of Bill Maher as the keynote speaker for the upcoming fall commencement. Bill Maher, a political comedian and TV show host, made remarks considered inflammatory by some. It's the That's only it. religion that acts like the mafia that will fucking kill you that, if you say the wrong true. thing. A petition with nearly 6,000 supporters asked the university to uninvite Bill Maher for his offensive and dangerous rhetoric. The problem is that if he's going to make these generalizations about a group of people which are problematic and dangerous, then he doesn't deserve to be elevated to the position of um, a commencement speaker. The university administration, however, stands by the invitation and looks forward to welcoming Mar for the commencement. And they invited me because it was the 50th anniversary of something that is legendary on that campus, the Berkeley Free Speech Movement. And finally, our pick of the week, we asked you viewers what your favorite late night munchie spot was, with La Burrita sweeping over 50% of the votes. La Burrita is located on the corner of Bowditch and Durant. It serves fast and delicious Mexican food on a college student's budget. Yelp reviewers rave about their burritos and friendly employees. Next time you get a late night raving, check out La Burrito on Duran. And that's it for this week's Berkeley Beat. Make sure to follow CalTV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more updates. And as always, go Bears!